Hey everyone, it's me Doomlink and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles The Crystal Bearers. As you can see there has been a considerable scenery change from when I had last left you off, and the reason why is because I actually took the Selkie train from Grassland Station to our next destination, which is where we are here. It is called Redland Station, I think. Or Redleaf Station. Is it Redland or Redleaf? I think it's Redland. Redland. Grassland to Redland, I think. Redleaf. Okay, so it is Redleaf Station. Good to know. Basically, the reason why I didn't do that on camera is because I had a technical difficulty with that video. And it was sort of a... It was a graphical error, I suppose you could say. The recording was recorded at a much lower resolution that it should have been because I had selected the wrong option in my settings for my capture card software. Now, I had actually continued a little bit further through the game, more than a little bit further in fact, but fortunately I did not get to the point where I had reached a save, so therefore I didn't overwrite this save here. Had I overwritten this save, I probably would have just not continued with this let's play, I probably would have cancelled it. The last episode, or the last part, would have ended up being uh, part 13. And I'm glad I didn't have to do that, not because I particularly like this game. If I really liked this game, I wouldn't have cancelled the Let's Play. But that would have just compounded the fact that I'm not really enjoying myself playing this game these days, which is why I don't record it very often. And I would have just cancelled it and said no. But I really do want to get this finished because I do like to finish my Let's Plays. It's very important to me that I finish what I start. And yeah, hopefully I will be able to get it finished. I'm pretty sure that I will be able to. I certainly dodged a bullet with this situation. But because I want to simultaneously show you what I did on the Selkie train, at least briefly, and also show you what was wrong with the visual recording, so that you know why I had to basically restart, I'll show you this quick clip right here. It looks like, well, we are being given a timer, I don't know why, what the hell is going, oh, this is the timer for how long it's going to take to get to Redleaf Station. So there actually is no minigame, it's just, I saw a timer, what the hell's going on with you? I didn't, I wasn't sure if you were doing backflips for my entertainment or if you fell over. Maybe it was a bit of both. Maybe he fell over for my entertainment. I'm not that kind of sadistic sort of person. Anyway, I understand that you really want to give me a letter, but I'm not the only person on this train and quite frankly, I've already taken your bloody letter, so go and deliver it to someone else or something. Does this guy have anything to say? He looks really upset about something. Maybe it's because he accidentally made a fool of himself in front of everyone by falling over backwards and smashing his head on one of these seats. I'd be pretty embarrassed as well. But you're not really helping your case by angrily walking back and forth. And so, without further ado, I would like to continue in this direction here. Fortunately, because I've already done this before, I already know what it is that I need to do, more or less. So that allows me to boost through this a little faster than I normally would, and I did have a few issues while going through here the first time for the reason that the whole miasma thing does confuse me. I had actually forgotten that I am supposed to remove the miasma manually, and also I was very confused here. I was like, why the hell is Kais here? Was he with us the whole time on the Selkie train? Why did we never see him? And I was reacting to that, so that's one of the reasons why it is better to react to these things, having only seen them the first time. Crystal Idol is what the Yuke is after, so I guess it's somewhere here. We can ask directly when we catch up. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I'm so incredibly uh, emotionally invested in this story. Now, this miasma actually only consists of one single monster. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know if like the an enemy can directly relate to the miasma like that. I think it can. But anyway, what I mean to say is that this guy needs to be killed and killing him will... Oh, we pretty much almost died because this guy's an absolute prick. So we're going to throw these explosive barrels at him. I think you can actually cover him with wine and he starts drinking it and he becomes some sort of enraged, drunken samurai, which is kind of crazy, but anyway. I think we have almost killed him, I hope. I really don't need him to kill me because, quite frankly, that would be a problem. What is this plank of wood that I'm throwing? Whatever. Seems to be... Oh, that barely did any damage, actually. Seems that I can't hurt him by throwing him, so... Oh, he's gonna kill me! He just fucking killed me, oh my god. I killed him and he killed me. That's a bit rough. Fortunately, there was an autosave, so we can return to it. Without having to go all the way back to Redleaf Station. Not that it's very far away, but you know what I mean. Also, by the way, there is another garden 
thing over, the, over that way. If you remember in Grassland, there was a garden that we could actually edit. We can do the same thing just over here in this little autumn space over here. I'm very glad that it's not a requirement for me to do that because I hated the previous one and I'm not doing it again. It's stupid. Oh my god, he's going to attack me again. I hate how aggressive this guy is. Just leave me the fuck alone. I'm going to throw this, uh, whatever it is. The, okay, what is it? Felled tree. I'm going to throw a felled tree at him. He looks to be on fire, and I'm guessing that is some sort of indication that he's pierced. What is he throwing? Were those shurikens that he was throwing at me? I don't know. Ugh. Stop it. I don't know if that was a calculated flea or what. But he managed to avoid what I had thrown at him as a result. There we go, that landed on him. He looks to be crying, which I can only apologize for. Did he just die? He just died. Maybe he was actually on fire, I don't know. But yeah, see up here we actually have to grab the miasma, and then the monster confrontation disappears. Now this is actually key to your progress in this area, and I was a little bit confused by it going through here the first time. There is a Moogle, and <laughs> this is actually a unique letter. So here we go, thanks for the help with the Scarecrow. This is not the letter that I was expecting. I was expecting a different one. But I haven't seen this either. Professor Sid, I'm writing about that scarecrow you modified for us. He's working out really well. The wild oxen stay well away. Have we read this before? It looks vaguely familiar. Trouble is, he's been acting weird recently. I wonder if you wouldn't mind taking a look-see when you have time. To go. Is that supposed to be a joke as in, like, to go somewhere? I don't know, probably not. To go. It's probably just his name. Anyway, so basically just a little bit further up here, there is this weird ice cave. Now, if there is a confrontation zone here, like a monster confrontation zone, you can't actually continue through it. And I was really confused as to how to get through it because I thought that there was a way to melt the ice. So what happens is there's an entrance way just over here. Oh my god, it is actually melted. So this here, see how you've got this ice right here? You cannot break this in any way. You can't melt it, you can't smash through it. Basically what you do is you have it so that this monster confrontation zone disappears. I don't even know how it fucking works to be honest. Where am I even going? What the fuck? What, what's going on? Why am I up here? What's, I haven't done this before. <laughs> is this some way to... What the... F okay, this is another way to progress apparently. I can't believe this. I did not find this out last time I was playing. Okay, so see this place here? What ends up happening, and I really want to demonstrate this without having to immediately go into confrontation, it looks like I can't, so basically, if I was standing in front of that previous door, wondering how the fuck to get through it, well I say door, more like ice cave entrance thing, I was standing there previously, wondering how to get through it, and actually, I had run the timer for this thing, so it automatically disappeared, and then, these two torches appear out of nowhere, that just melt the ice. And so I viewed it as this super arbitrary thing that just was a terribly designed uh, system that I didn't even understand. So basically, I'm not forced to do that. It seems that I can actually climb in the way that I did just previously and fight these enemies. Okay, what the fuck? I'm actually going to die here at this rate. Let's go grab these ice blocks. Fuck. Grab these ice blocks and go and fight these enemies. I don't know what's better to fight first, quite honestly, but... No, 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 stay away from me. Fuck, I destroyed that thing unnecessarily. Okay, I think he's dead. Did he die? He looked like he fucking disintegrated, so I guess that's my answer. I hope that's my answer. But yeah, anyway, as far as how I feel about this game at the moment, I'm not enjoying it that much. It's just, it's not the best game in the world, <laughs> quite frankly. I think you guys not only know that I don't enjoy this game very much. You probably also see why it's not that great of a video game. I don't think it... I don't think I need to sit here and make a case for why it's bad. I think it's quite obvious. It's quite self-explanatory, you know. Just picked up a fucking tongue. What the hell? I mean, I say what the hell as if I haven't picked one up before. I'm pretty familiar with it. But come on. Why do I keep picking up tongues? It's disgusting. Fenrir Wolf. Can you go away? But yeah, um... Not really enjoying myself, and that's one of the reasons why I'm just not recording this game very often. It's because I'm constantly procrastinating. I have so many other things I'd rather do. But it is also very important to me that I do get this Let's Play finished. And again, I was very close to actually cancelling it today. With that previous situation with my last recording not turning out properly. 
In fact, I should make sure that I'm recording properly, properly right now. So once I do finish this confrontation, I will double check to make sure all of my recordings are actually going well. And uh, yeah, at that point, I will continue again. I would love to kill these little wolves. It was very strange, these wolves before, or shadow beasts as they are referred to, really, I can't close this miasma stream because I've taken too fucking long, whatever. Fuck you, game. You know what's really frustrating about that? It makes it so that I've essentially wasted my time here because I wasn't able to clear the miasma stream. So I could have just run past them, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, these guys here, they're having some issues. Icicles have dropped on them and they need help and they give you money when you free them. I was joking about how that guy had a very good reason to be sitting there crying because an icicle had been skewered through his legs and he was probably experiencing life-threatening pain. But uh, anyway... What's this person doing? Oh, it's a girl in a coat of sorts. She's sliding around. I just want to see her hair because I've been inspecting female hair recently. And some hairstyles are absolutely terrible. Hers seems kind of fine. Anyway, I will just briefly check to make sure the recording's going alright. And I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Yep, yeah, everything seems to be going smoothly. Thank God for that. So yeah, anyway. There is a confrontation zone just a little bit further up here. That also caused some troubles for me. But I have a pretty good, uh, good idea of how to get through it now, so I will be sure to show you how to do it well. Huh? For once, I can actually play through this game and sort of know what I'm doing. I'm sure I'm not even performing particularly well. It's just better than me having no fucking clue as to what's going on, so. Yeah, basically, I'm going to deal with these small goblin warriors first. I'm going to kill them. I'd like to just kill all these enemies individually, to be honest. Maybe throw him into you. Missed. I'm losing fucking health here. There are a lot of large enemies around here that can hurt me like crazy. There's one further over there. There's this huge guy. There's a lot going on, basically. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to try and keep away from this guy. I think he's called a behemoth or something like that. I'm going to throw this goblin. Okay, if you're going to fucking run away from me, this is not going to work out at all. So I'll throw you on you. I say you a lot because I don't know what these things are called. This is apparently called a claymore. I'll throw this claymore at the big behemoth guy. I think that did something. So once you hit him the first time, I think he gets pissed off. Yeah, he empowers himself or something. Which is a concern. Because I'm already scared by this guy without him being empowered. But see these meteors here? Or meteorites, rather. They can be used to attack him. So he powers up and shoots meteorites at you. And then you can use them as weapons against him. So it's actually pretty helpful. But I'd very much like to kill these guys over here as well. And I think I'm going to do it by... Oh, he just got sent flying on the ground, didn't he? And I just got one shot. Now, this is the main problem with this fucking confrontation scenario. I can get one shot by this guy. If, I, if I'm just in the wrong position and he swings that fucking club, I'm dead instantly. So that's really fucking frustrating. And that's pretty much what I have had to deal with going through this area. But at least I have a pretty good game plan... Once reaching this point, it's better than not having a fucking clue as to how to continue. I'd like to try and complete it. Obviously, this is a monster confrontation zone, so I don't actually have to fucking complete it, which is ridiculous. Imagine having confrontation scenarios that don't actually need to be completed. You can just wait them out, and eventually they'll disappear. That's a great way to make it feel as if you're not actually doing anything of fucking worth while playing a video game. Stupid design. Anyway. Let's go and pick up this guy. Again, you have to get them into a position where they're lying fat on fat, flat on their back or something like that. And then you're able to throw them around. Throw you with that guy. There we go. He'll get pissed off. Then I can throw meteorites at him or something. But he'll throw them at me first. As we're about to see. Oh my god. So we can pick up this huge one. Let's pick up the huge one, shall we? And I'll throw it at him. Don't interrupt me, goblin. There you go, throw that at you. Did that hit his fucking club instead of him? For fuck's sake. Oh my god, so annoying. Okay. Pick you up and I'll... Oh, he just got thrown. Okay, this is the behemoth. This thing must be... Uh, what is it, a giant behemoth or something like that? Mega behemoth or something like that. Okay. Keep away from that. Apparently we can smash our soul... Okay, king behemoth, that's what he's called. Whatever. I would love to kill the smaller enemies as well, but... 
Okay, he's losing health just on his own. Okay. This Claymore can be my projectile for now. I'm just afraid to get hit by this King Behemoth. Can you summon some more meteorites so I can use them against you? Okay, let's throw this uh, ball firework. It's a weird thing that indeed goes off like a firework. And it turns him green. I don't know what the hell it's supposed to do. Oh, I think I'm supposed to throw oil on him and then throw the firework. I guess that's how it works. So let's try doing that. Throw the oil and then the firework. I think that's going to work. Has that lit him on fire? No, not at all. By the looks of it. I don't know how to actually immolate him. With fire. Because, oh shit. That did not actually end up hitting me, thank god. Alright, let's grab the- No, grab the fucking behemoth, you piece of shit. This is why I wanted to kill the goblins, you see. Fucking get out of here, there we go. Did that even deal any damage? No one to fucking hate, trying to see the- Oh, he's lost almost all of his health, holy shit. This is going very well for me, so let's pick up the behemoth, throw it at the king behemoth, go. Okay, what's happening? He's crying, oh no, he's crying, don't cry, king behemoth. I want to cry as well. You know when I'm really going to fucking cry? If I fail this confrontation, that's when you're actually going to see some tears. Can you fucking die already? What is your health? You must be so close. This goblin warrior can fuck off. Okay, pick him up and throw him. Is this going to kill him? No. No, don't. I'm so close. Don't fucking... Shit! You know how close I was to killing him? And yet they just, they make him disappear right in front of me with minimal health. And they're like, oh yeah, too bad, you just wasted your time. Welcome to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles The Crystal Bearers, one of the worst Final Fantasy games ever fucking made. And I have not played many Final Fantasy games, but I'll tell you what, one game I have played that's also a spin-off, that's also for a system that no one wants to play a Final Fantasy game on, the DS. Yeah, that was a fun game. It was called Final Fantasy Chocobo Tales. Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales, in fact. That was a fun, light-hearted game. I enjoyed that. It was nice entertainment. This, this is not entertainment. This is pain. This is straight up fucking pain. It's poorly made. It's stupid. I hate it with every last breath in my spirit, my body, my soul. I fucking hate it. It's stupid. I've wasted so many hours of my life playing this piece of shit. For my channel and also outside of it in the past. I cannot believe that I'm wasting my life with this. It's ridiculous. I, You know the reason why I'm still playing it right now is because I think I'm almost done with it. I think we are towards the end. I fucking hope so. I hope the uke that we're chasing right now is going to be the final boss and we can be fucking done with this game and they can have some terrible fucking ending to the story so I can sit here and say, hey, guess what? We're done. Hallelujah. I can get out the fucking streamers. I can pop open a fucking bottle of champagne and have the best fucking night of my life as I sit here saying out loud, professing to the universe, I'm done with Crystal Bearers, finally. Fuck this game, never playing it again. Can't wait for that moment. Holy shit, the uke you're chasing just crossed the rope bridge. Great. I bet the plan is to try and hide out in Rivelgage Monastery. Okay. Let's go to this save point up here. I cannot wait to hopefully be close to finishing this game because I do honestly have a feeling that I'm not far from finishing it. Because I don't really have a clear memory of any of this, so what this means is that this is probably close to the end. I have a pretty clear memory of going through the game in those other areas, but here? No, I don't really remember it, so... I honestly think that... <laughs> Kais is here as well. I honestly think that we are close. <sighs> I mean, how much more could there possibly fucking be? I know you guys are probably saying, well, Doom Link, there's only been 15 parts so far, well, 14, but... I got him. <sighs> just hope it's not a very long Let's game. So, you can shapeshift into other forms. Clever, but you're not gonna fool Didn't he just have a hood on and then you took the hood off? That's not shapeshifting. Let him go. Oh, you mean the uke? You think he's a uke? Okay, whatever. Oh man, what is this? We'll just have to check them one by one. Oh, this sounds like a fun mini game, doesn't it? Can't wait. Club Art Pilgrim? Nope. Uh, doesn't seem like it. No, uh, no. She was like holding her dress. There's the uke. Oh my god. 
Grab the uke quickly. Kais is doing his best. Really, we have to do it again? Why does the uke in that si What kind of hilariously stupid situation is this where the uke is going to continuously try to pretend to be someone else? Even after having been found out. Or do we have to continue in this direction? It, are we really doing this right now? I fucking found her again, you little bitch. Okay, we're we doing this again? Do we need to go into another fucking area with these- Why does this keep happening? Why is the Yuke constantly pretending to be someone else? Why- just stop it. You were found once, just stop. Fuck me. Stop crying. I'll give you something to cry about, you fucking cunt. Alright. So what's going on now? Where do we go to search for the next bastards? Well, then, well, it's not like we're searching for multiple people, but, you know. <sighs> what a shit part of the game. Where we're supposed to fucking find this Yuke who chooses to continuously pretend to be other people. 